really quick before this video starts i doubt you've seen my last video it did absolutely horrible but my discord server was nuked i lost everyone in my server so do me a big favor join back if you have been kicked or haven't joined already you can like directly talk to me if you want to if you join that server and go out of your way to talk to me you will talk to me also if you're going to subscribe to the channel or are already subscribed to the channel turn on the bell it's the only way to actually subscribe to this channel thank you guys in advance let's get on with the video Hey, what is up guys? It is Jed. I want to take a different approach with this one because my last one got flamed quite a bit for two reasons. The title and my tone. People didn't even really disagree with me that much. They just didn't appreciate my title and they were kind of angry at the tone that I had. I sort of had like an arrogant tone to me. So first off, I want to establish what I mean when I say Fortnite is dying, because people seem to have their own version of what a dying or dead game is. For example, some people would say that Destiny 2 is a dead game. Others would say they still have servers and players, therefore it's alive and healthy. When I say that Fortnite is dying, I'm not saying it's going to die soon or it's already dead. I openly stated this in my video and people still got that idea. When I say Fortnite is dying, I'm saying that it's in a regressive state and losing players. The rate can't really be determined without some guesswork, and Epic doesn't release their numbers. And before someone argues 100 million unique players to counter that point, I figured I should say this again. That number cannot decrease. Even 30 years from now, when Fortnite is dead and their servers are long gone, that number will still be over 100 million. Overall, unique players has no direct correlation with active players. Nobody really knows how many people are playing the game. I'm just making an educated guess based on what I've observed from community interaction, engagement, and view counts. You can find numbers to argue both sides and that's why this topic is so controversial. I do want to offer an updated version of this and address some common points of view I see floating around. After all, I did kind of create this trend. So first, let me remind you of my three month old points, how the game has changed or my ideas have changed. Now everyone who is a fan of me can probably predict the next word I'm going to say. Bloom. This is my personal problem with the game. I believe the shooting model is horrible, and a majority of people actually agree with that. Rarely have I found people that believe Bloom is actually a good mechanic. I've had people argue that it's a realistic mechanic and guns in real life utilize Bloom. Now, I've only shot a few guns in my life, but I doubt you would be able to distribute that on the free market if it was designed to not shoot straight. I know I'm only talking to a fraction of a percentage of people here, but really think about that. Why would a gun be purchased if it didn't shoot straight? And in a competitive market, wouldn't the guy that made the gun that did shoot straight get all the business? Anyways, moving past that, we're talking about a game that specifically focuses on being unrealistic and silly. Bloom is in the game for two reasons. Hitscan, which is part of the shooting model that they utilize. It works really well with aim assist on consoles, and they didn't want the guns to be laser beams. And also to punish the players that are good at aiming to give bad players a chance. Those are the reasons. There is no other reason why Bloom is in the game. Most people agree with that, and most people agree this is kind of messed up, but I think we've all come to accept that it's not going anywhere. As much as I would love to see my ideal Fortnite shooting model, it won't happen. Simple as that. I don't think Bloom is going to kill the game. People have definitely quit over it, but the game was able to succeed with Bloom. Bloom isn't going to be its downfall. The only negative side of Bloom is it's not going to be a reason to continue playing when Epic really messes up. For example, people aren't going to say, oh, they've reworked building, but at least I have Bloom. Now you can see that my ideas on this have evolved. I used to say that we need a new shooting model, but now I just don't agree. If they want to, that's great, but we're fine with the system we have. If you have good aim, you're gonna hit some shots. Just don't take a face trade fight. My second thing is not enough materials. This is something I'm still fully committed to and will still argue this to Fortnite's grave. Once the majority of players began building in Fortnite, pretty much since Season 3, we've been in need of a slight material gathering boost. Anywhere from 50 to 100% in my opinion. In Fortnite, we are spending way too much time farming and not enough time fighting. The whole appeal of Battle Royale and the reason it's so successful is because you rarely have a game that plays out like the last one. You're always in a different scenario, whether it's a different position or with a different gun. There is no unique moments or variety when it comes to farming. It's simply boring to spend up to a third of your match hitting things to stand a chance. For a game that tries so hard to be fun rather than competitive, you would think this would be a no-brainer. Is it really more fun to farm than fight? Yeah, I get the whole resource management argument, but the very resource that allows you to fight shouldn't take so long to get. It's not fun and you will be thrown in situations where people have farmed more, therefore they win. 
Then you watch them for a little bit afterwards, realize how uncoordinated they actually are, but you lost that fight simply because you ran out of materials. You tried to spray in a last resort to kill them while you're sitting on low ground, and that is my overall point. I just haven't seen it countered very well, or really at all. I cannot think of or have seen a reasonable counter argument as to why harvesting amount shouldn't be bumped up a little bit. I just simply have it. You're welcome to give it a try in the comments, but this is something I haven't even budged on. Also, funny side note, after my first video went viral, they added all those pallets and tilted. I was wondering if I was the reason for that because I was actively advocating for more materials. I don't know. I thought it was funny. I doubt it. I highly doubt Epic changed the game because of me, but I did think that was funny. My next big point is the long lost dream of the shotgun meta. I predicted it in my video and people told me I was wrong at the time. Half of the Fortnite's player base roared about shotguns and wanting variety, like SMGs to hold up just as well as shotguns in close quarters. I predicted the spray meta, and I predicted the community's response. You wanted shotguns nerfed into the ground, and SMGs to thrive. You have created this monster, and now you have buyer's remorse. I do appreciate the measures that Epic has taken to tone down the spray meta a little bit. It does seem to be in a reasonable spot. I do believe shotguns are underperforming right now, but also I don't think they've reached their final state. I know there were some pump adjustments coming up pretty soon. So that's kind of where I stand on Fortnite right now and other people have been vocal about it too. So I wanted to take a look at other people's ideas and talk about them for a little bit. I probably will end up rebutting points because that's just what I do. I love discussing and debating people. Just don't take it as a direct attack on people, but rather their ideology. And it is why this game blew up and over 125 million people are- Ugh. This is probably going to happen a lot. People love to argue 125 million players, and I've already explained why this is just not a point you can argue. It has no direct correlation, active players, and if the game's dying or not. This isn't like a sad story, by the way, of a poor little boy or girl who died in a video game, because who cares? It's just a video game. We all die all the time anyways. This is about a business decision. Okay, so this video from the Denver guy, he's saying basically, he is saying the same thing as I am saying. We're both fully aware of what Epic is doing. He's just saying, this is a business decision, good on them. I'm saying, this is a business decision, the disrespect, how dare they? I understand, yes, they need to make money, they need mass appeal, that's the, that's the best interest, but why, why are they selectively appealing to, like, just the casuals like why don't they include everyone why don't they have good mechanics but make them really easy to learn like that's what i that's my overall point yes mass appeal is fine mass like obviously they want to make money that's totally fine everyone's out here trying to make money they're actively ignoring the hardcore dem demographic like if mass appeal is your point hardcore demographic should be taken into consideration my biggest and overall point was Make the mechanics good, but make them easy to learn. Make them easy for a casual player to pick up, understand what is going on, and learn and get better and be rewarded for the time they invest into those mechanics. That is my overall point. So we're basically saying the same thing. And, and for the most part, this video is objective. This is like, he doesn't really throw many opinions in there. I actually, I can't think of an example where he does. I can respect that. Also, I'm pretty sure I got like top comment around. Uh, I was, I was, I was close. I wouldn't even really consider it an issue, but he didn't offer any solutions, like how he thinks that like they should go about it, uh, which is fine. There's no one says you have to. Just I, I, I do believe people were already kind of aware of the issues with the game. All right, next video from Quackity. I, I know this is comedy. I'm not gonna be attacking comedy because like it's comedy. It's supposed to be a joke. But after a lot of comedy, I believe he makes the point right here. But you see, that's a problem that's going to kill Fortnite, repetition. When you play the game over and over again, yeah, it's fun the first few times, but over time, it just gets repetitive. And I think that will be the downfall of Fortnite, but you know- I mean, you could argue repetition with almost any game. Why is CSGO so popular? Isn't it repetitive? Why was Call of Duty, like one of the most repetitive games out there, doing so well for so many years? because of good mechanics. If the mechanics are good, the game will not die. People are going to stay because the mechanics are satisfying, they're fun to play with. Let me state a simple statistic that is going to make you instantly rethink Fortnite's popularity. Oh my God, he's gonna fucking say it. He's he's gonna say it. Uh, Do you know how many players have downloaded Fortnite and oh how many players play it every day? Fortnite has been able to more than quadruple- oh. 
Oh my god. Okay. So he actually said how many players the game actively has, meaning the, the meaning concurrent players every day, like how like their peak players. And it proceeds to show this statistic and says this will instantly change your mind. Let me let me just one more time in case people are really not getting this. Total unique players has no correlation with active concurrent players. That number will all this 125 million will never decrease. It, it is it literally cannot decrease 30 years 50 years 70 years from now when fortnite is just a story for your children that number will still be there it's not going to have any active players at all because the servers are down like it will have literally zero active players but that number is still going to be there it has no direct correlation with active players side note i do enjoy how people won't use their own gameplay now to be clear i hate it when people use gameplay as a point like for example when people used my fortnite is finally dying gameplay against me when I mentioned I only used the scoped AR and the pump, but I didn't use them in the video, like obviously there's a reason. I didn't play the game for a long time. I wasn't confident in my aim because I'm pretty sure I still played with mouse acceleration at the time and I don't play with that in any other game. It was weird to get back into and get a feel for. I didn't care though. I played one game, recorded it and uploaded it. I didn't care how I looked because I didn't want the gameplay to have an influence on my points or ideology. The reason I bring this up is because they're actively selecting good gameplay from people with tremendous amount of time played to further leverage their points. If you see a really good player, you immediately assume they know what they're talking about. And there was no disclaimer addressing that. I'm not saying they have to or care that they're doing it, but it does show me the underlying reason for this. They're selecting good gameplay, not from themselves, but to seem more credible. It's not really a counter argument. I just want to leave that there for you to think on. But yeah, that pretty much does it for me. I've anticipated making this video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.